Um, I think this is probably the end of the, uh, of the road. Uh, it wouldn't be possible for anybody else to uh, challenge the, uh, the, the NEB certificate. A big day for the future of the Trans Mountain Pipeline as the Federal Court of Appeal rules on a number of lawsuits aimed at halting the project. The core issue is whether or not the federal government properly consulted First Nations before the Energy Board review or the Cabinet decision to approve the project. One of the more surprising aspects of the decision is just how long it took to make. Many expected it to come in the spring. That could suggest there were some difficulties reaching this decision. If the ruling favors the plaintiffs, Bank says the government could appeal. Although I think it's more likely that they will take the advice of the Federal Court of Appeal, which will be, you didn't do a good enough job, you need to do, take additional measures and, 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 if you like, seek to rectify whatever deficiency uh, the Federal Court has uh, identified. On the other hand, a ruling in favor of the government would almost certainly lead to an appeal, which would likely mean another long delay. If we go to the Supreme Court of Canada, uh, I think the soonest you could expect a decision on the leave application would be six months. Uh, and then, of course, if they grant leave, it's another period before it's set down for, uh, for hearing. If the government prevails again, that all but closes this legal chapter, but it won't be the end of the story. We all anticipate that there will be demonstrations on the ground and that those will also wind their way up in uh, the court. But there the issue will be, of course, the legality of uh, the activities of those demonstrating rather than the legality of the pipeline itself. The government has the legal right to push ahead with the project and appeal can't stop that, but it's a question of risk. Either way, the picture is about to become clearer. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.